Hey everyone, how are you? Joe here. Welcome back to my channel. It's nice seeing you guys. Um, my videos haven't been very consistent lately. I think the last one I put up was for Valentine's Day. And Valentine's Day has uh, just ended and uh, we're moving into the middle of February right now. So I'm at a crossroads. I don't want to start spring yet because it's still 32 days away. And um, you know, but I do want to put something up there for you guys to see. For those of you that don't know me, if you just stumbled on me, my name is Joe and I do a lot of uh, seasonal decorating and other kinds of decorating as well. Sometimes I do how-to videos, um, you know, installation of certain things uh, and sometimes I just do shopping videos and my wife also puts up some cooking videos as well. So if you like all that kind of stuff, please consider subscribing to my channel and put on the notification bell and give me a thumbs up so that my videos will appear in more people's, um, you know, uh, list of videos that is suggested to them so that we can spread the good word about Joe out there. Um, so today, anyway, today what I'm going to be doing is I took down the Valentine stuff on uh, February 15th. I waited one day, you know, and I took it down. And Marianne is already saying to me, uh, what are you putting in the window? What are you putting in the window? And I was going to hold off until March 1st to put St. Patrick's up, but I'm going to put that up. For those of you that know me, you may have seen my St. Patrick's window a couple of years ago. It's basically going to be the same thing because, let's face it, it is what it is, and that's what I'm going to put up. And, you know, being uh, Italian, we I don't have so much St. Patrick's Day stuff. You know, when I was a kid, what did I know about St. Patrick's? We used to call him San Patrick. You know, it was like... That's what we called it. But did you know that St. Patrick was really Italian and his parents moved to, uh, to Britain, I believe, and uh, he was even kidnapped by, by pirates. So he had a very, very interesting life. But um, to be honest with you, we celebrate, as Italians, we celebrate more on March 19th, which is San Giuseppe Day or St. Joseph's Day, which is my um, saint day. And Italians sometimes go all out for that. If you go to an Italian pastry shop on San Giuseppe Day, you can get a sfinge, which is a fried pastry. And sometimes in there will be uh, uh, yellow cream with cherries. Or my favorite is they fill it with cannoli cream. And then also people do big St. Joseph Day tables with food and pastry and so on. And also when other Italians uh, see me on that day, they'll pull my ear because that's wishing me good luck for uh, St. Joseph's Day. But anyway, St. Patrick took the the uh, starring role of mid-March, and that's what people know, so that's what I'm going to be doing. So, like I said, I'm going to be working in this bay window, I'm going to be lining it with green lights, and putting up the stuff that I have. So I hope you enjoy this little video, and I'll show you a little bit about how I do this. So just stay tuned. So the green lights are on the window. I've lined the window with the lights and you'll see it better at nighttime, but the green lights are on. Next, I have this very shiny uh, clover garland, which I'm going to hang from 3M hooks at the top of the window. Okay, so I hung this from the 3M hooks and um, it gives a, at nighttime with the lights, it'll give it a lot of sparkle. Okay, so the next thing I did was I had these and I put a little bit of glitter on them and I hung those from the 3M hooks as well. Next, I have a couple of these and I'm gonna put these in the side windows. Next, I built a base using these pan, pan, uh, cans of paint and I'm gonna use that to put my rolling hills of Ireland on there and my leprechaun. Next, Mr. Leprechaun goes in, and we got him in the Christmas tree shop a couple of years ago. He's, he's 10, see? So, but he looks good in the window, so he's going to go in next. Okay, so I was going to go look for, you know, some kind of pot or paint it black or whatever and get those little gold coins and stuff, but I ran into this in the dollar store today, so uh, it was a dollar, and... 
it's going to go right next to Miss Leprechaun. And I'm probably going to put it on one of these plate stands uh, to hold it up. And before we go outside and show you how the window looks from outside, I just did a little bit on the entry table here, just for a touch of the, you know, the occasion. Um, we had this scarf here, it says, kiss me, I'm Irish. And we uh, I wrapped it around the, the cherub there, right there, like a scarf on the neck. And then on the table here, um, what I did was, um, oh, I wanted to show you this, I just, I had some of those crystals I ordered from Amazon and I used them at Christmas time and I just added them to these two uh, uh, candle holders here. I, I thought they were appropriate for, for this room too. Then down here I have these other candle holders right here. They kind of look like um, a water lily and I put in a little Irish hat and that's on each side. Then I had a wicker basket here. I added another scarf in there. Uh, again, that was from the dollar store, and I have this evergreen uh, shrub here that I got from my uh, Michael's Hall, and has a little tips of ice because it is still winter. And I kept some pine cones in there, and I just added some um, clover there. Those were picks again from the dollar store. I think they were six for a dollar. And then up on the top, I have this clover, and I have it hanging uh, with a, from a scarf. Uh, on the mirror too, and then I have to add candy in these two um, uh, containers there. So that's a, a little bit that I did for the entry table when you come in, again, just uh, for a little bit of flavor of St. Patrick's Day. All right, let's go outside and see how that window looks from the outside. Okay, so here's the window from the outside. It's nighttime now, and you can see the um, shamrocks hanging and the leprechaun and the pot of gold and the leprechaun I put a lit uh, shamrock in his hand too. Let me get closer for you. Okay so there's a closer view of the uh, rolling hills of Ireland and the uh, leprechaun and the shamrocks. Okay, everybody, so that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed this little video uh, for my St. Patrick's uh, window. And uh, like always, uh, please subscribe to my channel. And I promise I do a little bit better stuff than this. But, you know, this is a little bit cute for, the, for this occasion. So um, that's about it. I'll be seeing you really soon. I'm going to be installing some blinds and I'm going to be videoing that. So, okay, everybody. I hope everybody's well. Take care. Bye-bye.